All right, team, jazzed out of your mind. Today is day 80, day 80, day 80. I can't believe we've been doing this for 80 days, but I'm happy. Let me show you what the workout is. So here we're sitting, right? Day 80, four time. 30, 20, 10 alternating dumbbell snatches, push-ups, then you're gonna go directly into 10, 20, 30 of alternating dumbbell hang, right? Hang, hang power cleans and jerks, right? Hang, clean, and jerks, boom, into burpees, right? This is a fast and furious wad, right? I want you to tear into it. Um, I'm gonna show you the movement patterns when we come back, but just keep in mind that it's supposed to be fast and furious. Boom, 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 boom. Start pushing through it, do not rest. I can't wait to see you guys go through this tomorrow. Hey guys, the good news is, to do today's workout, all you need are one of these, and one of these, right? We're gonna talk about the two exclusive body weight movements first, and then move on and talk about the dumbbells. It's a little out of order. I know in the workout, we go through alternating dumbbell snatches, then we do push-ups, then we do uh, hang clean and jerks, and then we do, we do burpees. I'm gonna cover the push-ups and the burpees first, and then we'll get on to the dumbbell work, right? On the push-ups, what I simply need you guys to commit to, and this comes, this is not a surprise for those of you that have been with me for a long time, but we want full extension and we want chest to the ground every single time, right? We don't want our elbows to worry about being clenched here. We want our armpits clenched here, right? I don't, so there's a difference between me, this is kind of a small thing, but I get a chance to share technique with you guys, and since I'm not coaching people in person, you're stuck listening to me, right? If I drop, so, so when we're in our proper position for the press for the push-up, it is less about what my elbows are doing and more about what my shoulder's doing, right? I can squeeze my elbows tight and still have my shoulder collapsing, but I can, if I squeeze my armpit tight, right? Armpit super tight, that locks my shoulder into this nice strong position so it doesn't move when I press. We don't want the shoulder to move forward through the push-up like this. We want this happening. Right? You guys see the difference in those two movements? I maybe have never showed that on camera before to you guys. So if I squeeze and set my shoulder into a proper position, I come down, my chest touches without my shoulder dropping forward. If your shoulders drop forward to make contact with the ground in that push-up, this is going to create some problems with stability. It, it, it's, it's stressing all these things incorrectly, right? So I want you to pay attention to that tomorrow. Not letting it drop forward, coming all the way through here which requires you light up all these fun muscles back here, right? That also happens when I drop into the bottom position of the burpee for me to lay down on the ground. I'm not gonna collapse through like this. I'm gonna lie down on the ground for the burpee. One big one I want, at the top of your burpee, I need you to jump straight up in the air, not be in this world right here. This is bad for your back and it looks funny, right? We're not jumping over stuff fast. We're gonna to come to a full extension on our burpees, right? I know Coach Josh will look for that tomorrow morning at six. I'll look for it at 10 and 5.30, okay? Now on to the movements with the, with the dumbbells, the dumbbell movements. Alternating dumbbell power snatches, right? Ground, overhead, drop into the power position, switch in the air or switch on the ground, right? Both ends of the dumbbell need to make contact with the ground. I'll demonstrate a couple from the front and I'll demonstrate a couple from the side so you can see the angle that I'm looking for, right? back up just a little bit. So I hinge nice and tall, I get the bell right here, I'm up, I switch, and I'm up again, right? That would be two. As it comes down, let's think about my hip being back, my butt staying below my shoulders, me exploding up, right? And exploding up, steady and smooth, right? Hang clean and jerks we're not gonna come from the ground, right? So, I, the heavier the weight I use, I tend to like to clean from the center of my body, right? If, we were, if I was doing 35s, I may be over here, cleaning and jerking, but 50, 70, 75, 60s, I'm gonna come from the center of my body, right? So I'm here, again, these are hangs, not touching the ground. So I'm gonna be here, clean, Jerk, switch it up, clean, jerk like so, right? <sighs> I can't wait to see you guys do this workout tomorrow. I can't wait to do it myself. It's going to be awesome, right? Good luck, guys.